Hey everyone, welcome to Passing Shirt sure Looks Easy. <laughs> All right, this question appears in the PSLE 2021. I call this step by step. All right, check out this question with me. The perimeter of the shaded portion is 4 cm more than that of the unshaded region. All right, where is the perimeter of the shaded portion? Every time I read this, right, I will look at my diagram and have an understanding where is the perimeter of the shader. The shader is the, this portion here, all right? So the what? The perimeter must be here, here, all right? Follow the red color line, please, here. So this is the perimeter of the shader. Can you see? This is the perimeter of the shader, the red color line, huh? okay? So this portion is 4 cm more than the perimeter of the unshaded region. Where is the perimeter of the unshaded region? The unshaded is here. So the perimeter is made up of this green, this green, and also this line here. All right, that's called the perimeter. Can you see? So that's the clue. So now, part A, they're asking you to find the length of PQ, which is here. All right, they're asking you to find the length of PQ. Hey, what is this? Oh, no. I don't know. All right, but, but, but wait, for, wait, 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 wait for it, wait for it. All right, can I go and find the length of maybe this portion first? All right, can I purposely go and find the length of this portion first? This here. Ah, if you can see from the color coding, right? Can you see something? How come this tree yellow, 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 and this one also yellow? Can you see that if I bring this down, bring this down, and bring this down? All right, two plus four plus eight is actually equal to 14 cm. It actually makes the what? It actually makes the length of this portion from here to here. Is that okay? Yes, the other side also. The other side also got blue, right? Why? Uh? Down here is blue, blue, blue. All right, you're supposed to know this, uh, children. All right, you're supposed to see this one. Uh, I think your school would have trained you in primary four, primary five. Primary four, you learn area and primary 30. So this portion is down here. This portion pool here and this portion pool here will give you a seven plus three plus three. That will give you a 13 cm. All right, so these are the additional clue that you can actually put in. Do you understand? Can understand, right? But you still don't know here. Lah. That's still the question mark. Is that okay? You cannot say, uh, are, you, are you going to use my ruler and measure? No, no, cannot. All right, so you're supposed to find the length of PQ. PQ is up to here. All right, up to here. All right, from P to Q. Okay. And my 13, my 13 is actually the whole thing here. All right, my 13 is actually the whole thing here. All right, so be careful. Huh? the information must be very clear to you. Is that okay? And part B, you're supposed to find the shaded area. All right, so what do I do? I will uh, tear out this two. Uh, the, I'll tear out this figure into two parts for you to see. Ah, uh, you see? Strong right, I know. <laughs> so the perimeter of the shaded part. Remember where's the perimeter of the shaded part again? Here, 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 here. All right, it's actually 4 cm more than here. Understand? Uh? Can I? Uh? Okay, so just now, right, just now we managed to find this portion, the yellow here, which is 8 plus 4 plus 2. Let me just write it in first, all right, to remind myself it's 14 cm. Can? Yes. And remember the blue? The blue just now? Ah, the blue is 13 cm. It's actually 7, 3, and 3, right? This 13 cm, ah, careful. This 13 cm, oops, wrong button. This 13 cm is actually made up of what? Here and here. All right, so this whole thing will give you the 13 cm. Is that okay? All right, and you're supposed to look for what? You're supposed to look for PQ. Right, you're supposed to look for this PQ double tick. Okay, children, can you see something? Can you see that this portion here and this portion here is actually same, same. All right, in a way, they overlap each other. So when that happens, what happens? You can actually omit it. All right, you can see that it doesn't exist. All right, it doesn't exist. Okay? So what you can say that is the perimeter of this portion, which is here, 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 here and here, is four more than here and here. Can you see that? All right, because this one and this one, they are sharing it. All right, they are sharing it. So in a way, they will cancel each other off. Can? Okay, so what is happening down here? Can I just go and look for the perimeter of this portion first? Right, the perimeter of the shaded this portion. So I have 8 plus 7 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 3 
plus this little thing down here. Can I call this like one unit? One U. Can? Is equal to what? Uh, 8 plus 7. Oh, yeah, this one can press calculator. This one is like question, um, last question of the paper. You know, this is like question 12, right? Question 12 of paper 2 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 3. All right, it's 27. So it's 27 plus 1 unit. Can you see? All right, the red color outline. Hey, how about, how about the perimeter of this one? All right, the perimeter of this one will be what? The perimeter of this one will be, you take what? You take the 14 plus what? Plus PQ. But I don't know why it's PQ. Uh, that is the thing. That is the thing. Eh? But I know that what? The whole thing here is 13 cm, right? 13 cm. And up here, up here, up here, from here to here. All right, which is actually this portion here. All right, which is actually this portion here. All right, let me dot it out. It's called what? It's called one unit. Oh. So what can you tell me about PQ? All right. Can you say that PQ is actually 13 cm minus the one unit? Can you see that? All right. So the perimeter will be made up of 14 cm. All right. 14 cm here plus what? Plus the 13 minus the one U. All right. To simplify, it will be what? 27 minus one U. So here comes the interesting portion. All right. The question says that the shaded portion, which is on the left, uh, which is this uh, perimeter in white, 27 plus 1U. Can you see the word is? Ah, E to M, English to math. I always teach this. All right. I find it so useful. You're translating the English sentence, English sentence, to a mathematics sentence. All right. Is actually means equal. What does the four means? The four means? Four la. What does the plus means? Sorry, what does the more means? The more means a plus. Oh, four more than that of the unshaded region. The unshaded region will be where? The unshaded region will be here, which is represented as a 27 minus one unit. <gasps> ja, we call this what? We call this here and there. What do you do? You bring all the what? You bring all the units to one side and you push all the numbers to the other side. Can? This is called here and there when you are doing it with idiot tuition. So my one unit is over here. My one unit is over here. All right. And my equal sign is over here. They stay. My negative one unit here, minus if I bring across the equal sign. All right. Because I want to gather all the units to one side. Minus if I bring across will give me a plus one unit. All right. My four, my 27 will still stay on my right hand side. Because I want to gather all the numbers to the right and push all my units to the other side. And this portion here, this 27 here, is actually a positive 27. If I want to gather it over to the other side, it must go across the equal sign, right? If it goes across the equal sign, what happens? The plus will become a minus 27. Right? By now, you should know that every time, right, the, uh, when there is no sign in front of the number, it's always a positive. Okay? So now, what do you have? You work downwards. One unit plus one unit is a two unit. Here, you press your calculator. Huh? Don't have to press. Four plus 27 minus another 27. So down here will be a four. Oh, yeah. So one unit will be equal to what? All right, show the step. Four divided by two. And one unit will be equal to two. Is that okay? That means, that means your this portion here is a what? It's equal to a two centimeter. Can you see? All right, so this portion here will be equal to a two centimeter. They are looking for the length of PQ. Length of PQ is, is given as this 13 cm minus one unit, which is 13 cm minus two cm, which means that PQ is a 11 cm. Bam! And that is your answer. Woo! All right, so for this question, use a little bit of here and there. There's a lot of practice of this in edit tuition. All right, so if you can, go and check out our website. It's very, very useful. You have to learn here and there, especially when you're in Premier 6. Can? It will help you a lot in your secondary school. And that's how we find our length PQ. Done! Moving on to the next part. What do we have? All right. So now we have all this information available for me. Find the shaded area. <laughs> no, it's so simple. Things are so simple. Now it falls back to the what? It falls back to like the Premier 4. Premier 4, they teach you how to what? In school, they teach you how to cut 
all this uh, diagram into, we call this like ABC. ABC. Da, da, da. One, two, three. All right, so we can easily find the area of uh, A. All right, the rectangle A is two by what? Two by three, which is equal to a six centimeter square. Area of B is equal to a four by what? Oh, oh. what is the length down here? Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> what is the length down here? Do I know the length here? Can I find? Can I find the length here? No problem. No problem. All right. The whole thing here is a 13. Down here is a 7. So we can easily say that 13 minus 7. All right. You can count upwards 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 6 cm here. All right. 4 times 6 will give you a 24 cm square. All right. You have all the information already here. So nothing can frighten you. Area of C, the big, big one is 8 times the whole 13. All right, here you can press your calculator. Don't take unnecessary risk. This is in paper too. You can press your calculator. Why not just press your calculator? All right, so you can actually find the total area of the entire what? Area of entire figure. Entire figure. Give a little bit of heading like this so that your teacher can understand what you're actually looking for. And it actually makes clearer sense to you. All right. 24 plus 6, that will give you a 134 cm squared. That is for the entire thing. Eh, but the question is looking for shaded only. Okay, okay, relax, relax. Don't be angry with me. So down here, shaded, right? You do not want the area of this triangle here. Oh, your blue on blue. Bad choice of color. All right. So you want to find the area of this triangle and less it out. So area of the triangle, as you know, is half time base on the side. All right. And what is the the base, ah, you have all the information. And you have the height, yes, because of part A. If you cannot find part A, part B, you will not get the answer. All right. So half time base, 14 times height is 11. Press your calculator. All right. 7 times 11 is a star and more. 77 cm square. Can? All right. So you're supposed to remove the area of the triangle. So here, you can write out your final, final um, uh, heading, area of shaded. All right, it's equal to what? You can take the entire figure, which is 134, to less out the area of the triangle. And please, please, all right, the last step really, press your calculator, don't be shy. All right, 134 minus 77 is equal to 57 cm square. All right, I believe this is uh, paper two, question number 12. And that's how you get the area, uh, the area, the shaded area. Can? Not too bad, right? Yeah. All right, this portion is the more tricky one. All right, this PQ is the more uh, tricky portion. But once you can find PQ, thanks to what? Thanks to a method called E to M, English to Math, learn to translate. All right, know where is the perimeter and also know that this uh, portion here is being what? Is being omitted because they overlap. All right, so once they overlap, they kind of cancel each other off. All right, if you know all this knowledge and you know something called here and there, all right, I call it here and there. It's very useful. For P6, you need to know this here and there. Okay? You'll be able to solve this question. All right? I find this question one of the toughest. All right? Especially in your PSLE 2021 paper. This is really tough. Okay? Uh, and that's it for this step-by-step. -step. Hope you find the explanation clear and hope you understand what is happening. Okay? Can. All right? And that is all. Remember that learning math is supposed to be fun. All right? Have a more positive attitude. Stay Positive. All right, that is Burns theory number one, actually. All right, when you do mathematics, it's very, very important to have that. All right, and once you can solve the question, right, you feel so good. You know the answer is correct and you know that you can do it. Wow, the feeling is amazing. All right, so always stay positive and remember to learn with Burns.